Hey guys, just a quick follow-up video on this facet mechanical calculator. We had a couple of questions. The first one being asking about what these little white pointers do and how they work. So these pointers are used to designate decimal places in uh, the different registers here. And they work a little bit differently depending on the math that you're doing. So I'm going to show you a couple of examples. The first one would be multiplication. So let's just say we're going to multiply 245.79. So we want to put a decimal place right there. And you can see there's a hole in there and they call that the I. And you can see in there it's got a little number two on this metal strip. So it's saying we've got two decimal places, 245.79. decimal seven nine. Then what we need to do is set the register up here, the accumulator or the product register to match. So we're going to set that to two as well. And this counter here doesn't really matter. The multiplier doesn't matter. So if we cycle that in, so we go 245.79 times by one, we've got the correct decimal place here. And we can basically do any multiplication now, we can times that a few times over, times by four, that's still applicable, uh, we can times it by 44, and you can see we've got a big number here, it's uh, what, 10,814.76. So multiplication is quite simple, you just match uh, your original setting and your accumulator or your product register here to be the same. So I'm going to clear this now. Division is a little bit different. Um, so for an example, if we're going to divide 245.5, so we're going to slide this across, we're going 245.5, and then we put that into our register up here. So now we have to go 245.5, now just note that this I here is pointed to 10, which means there's 10 decimals behind here. You can ignore this one. We've got 10 numbers behind the decimal place here. Now, if we're gonna divide that by, let's go 30.33, uh, same thing. Now 30.33, we actually wanna slide this decimal place over so that we get uh, 30.3300. Now what you need to do is go, well, we've got 10 up here from our original number, and now we want to divide this with four digits behind it. So you go 10 minus four equals six. So you slide this decimal point over to number six on its little ruler, and that will give you the correct decimal placing for your answer. So now if we do this math, so we've got to cycle it backwards if you remember from the last video, straight away the bell rung, so we go forward again, Move over our tens. We keep going until the bell rings. Right there. Forward again. Move our tens. So we've got eight point something. And we can just keep going now. Oh, there it went. Move it forward. Move it forward. Again, just keep going until we've got the resolution that we like. I might as well just go to the end now. Okay, there's our answer. So we went 245.5 divided by 30.33, and our answer is eight decimal. 094296, and we can quickly test that. Again, we'll use a little calculator. So we went 245.5 divided by 30.33, and that equals the same. So you see how we got that answer there, and we got the correct decimal placing by doing that little procedure. Now, the second question I got is, what would happen if I divided by zero? And I think this is from, um, a video on YouTube that got pretty popular and it was another model of the facet mechanical calculator. It was the facet ESA-01, which is actually an electronic, it's got a motor in it, it's like an electromechanical calculator. So it automates a lot of this handle turning and things like that. Um, and when they divide it by zero, it basically just sits there cycling going crazy. Um, so the, I think the question came about from that. So I'm going to show you what happens. It's not very exciting really, but I'll explain why it happens as well. So let's just say we want to divide, uh, we'll go divide 32 
into that. And we want to divide that by, um, divide it by eight. So what I'm going to show you now is not dividing by zero and how this actually works. So we go like this, we've got 32, and we're dividing by eight. And so we can set our register up here. Difference between 11 and 12, uh, sorry, the difference between 11 and five is six. And now we do our backwards turn. There it is straight away, move our tens. Now if you look at this number, we've got 32 divided by eight, and basically division is just subtracting. That's all it is, it's counting how many times you subtract a number from another number. So if you watch, subtract, 24, that's once. 16 is twice, eight, and that's our end. Go forward again to clear it. So eight was able to be subtracted from 32 four times. Now, if we do a division by zero on a calculator like this, we'll do the same thing. We'll go 32, we'll enter that, clear our register, divided by zero, enter that. Now, nothing happens. It just keeps counting and counting and counting and it just keeps rolling over. So this is what the, the electronic calculator was doing. It was just kept on rolling forever. Um, so basically, because we're dividing by subtraction, we're subtracting zero every time. And we're never decrementing the value of this number here. So we're just not getting anywhere. We've basically got an infinite loop happening. Not very exciting, but that's basically how these calculators work. And that's what's gonna happen. So thanks again for watching, guys. And uh, see you on another video.